Thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks, Jim. So as treasurer, you've done about $100 billion worth of acquisitions and global financing for Allergan. Any deal stand out in particular? Yeah, I think, you know, it's about $100 billion taken into consideration deals that needed financing. In the past 10 years with you know, even the smaller acquisitions that we've done, I mean, probably the number is closer to 200 billion uh, when you figure that out. And, uh, you know, it was an amazing run when I joined the company. You know, it was Watson Pharmaceuticals, which was a generic, predominantly a U.S. company. And today, Allergan being a branded global pharmaceutical company with no generic business whatsoever. So it's been a, a pretty wild ride. Uh, the first major acquisition that we did was when Watson acquired Activis, and that was in November of 2012. And uh, we actually closed that deal during Hurricane Sandy <laughs> was going on, but we were able to get that transaction closed. But you know, to your question, you know, the one thing, you know, when we worked on the Activis deal, you know, we probably worked on that deal for about a year's time. When you look at acquisitions today, they're happening in a much more uh, quicker pace from. Mm -hmm identification, doing deal, d due diligence, making a bid, and closing that transaction. It seems like the timelines have been certainly compressed these days. And you also did an IPO for Virgin Mobile. I did, yeah. A uh, Richard Branson company. What was that like? A Richard Branson company, that's correct. I mean, from a treasury perspective, you know, opportunities to take companies public are far and few between, and that was the reason why I joined the company, again, just to uh, think about different types of transactions I could get involved in. It was certainly interesting because, again, starting out as a joint venture, you know, we basically had two masters. You had Virgin on one side. Um, you had the Sprint folks. And, you know, that transaction was unique in itself because we followed a dual path, going public and also entertaining a private sale. So you could imagine all the work we were doing to set the company up to be public, you know, making sure that we have the right um, Sarbanes-Oxley controls in place. Right. We have the right infrastructure in place. Uh, the right people, um, you know, so working on that, working on the drafts of the S1, getting that filed, and typically with an IPO, once you get that first draft filed, you know, you have about a month or so before the SEC comes back with comments. Well, right. on this transaction or these transactions, we had two separate banks. So while we were working with one bank on the IPO, the other bank is, okay, aren't we ready to start working on the private equity uh, sale and so forth? So there was really no rest for the weary. So once the deal, <laughs> or once the, uh, the paperwork was filed, the S-1, the next day, now we're working with the other bank on uh, you know, uh, pursuing the, uh, the private sale option. So I'll talk a little bit about what you do do for rest. I see that you and your wife are very active in mainstream, which I found to be really fascinating. It's yeah, it's uh, a very um, worthwhile uh, organization. And again, my wife is you know 150 uh, percent committed to that organization. It's an equine-assisted uh, therapy center, so it's really about improving the quality of quality of life for people who uh, may be challenged from a medical disability, emotional, or developmental um, uh, perspective for challenged. And, you know, the programs involve horses, so equine-assisted therapy programs as well as educational. So, you know, my wife has been fortunate enough that she didn't have to work, um, you know, just because of my career. Um, but, you know, she started volunteering because she wanted to be around horses. She grew up in the city. She was taking horseback riding lessons. This gave her an opportunity to, you know, be around horses. One thing led to another. It's, okay, you're volunteering a couple of days. Mm -hmm. Now we're having fundraisers. You're working on committees, whether it's silent auctions. Now you're working on events. Hey, by the way, do you want to be uh, on the board of directors, starting out as assistant secretary, secretary? And uh, this year, or last year and this year, she is now president of uh, Mainstream. So, um, you know, it's, it's a great organization, and you see yeah, how folks like going through and how they develop over the ages. And it's, it's remarkable, you know, using horses as part of therapy. Yeah, it, it sounded really unique. Yes. It just popped out when I saw that. Well, yeah. thank you so much for being here today. Great. I really appreciate Jim, it. I appreciate it. Thank you.